the seated poses. Inhaling and exhaling from attention pose. Long, deep breaths here. With an inhale, we're going to move through a one breath variation of the sun salutation. Exhaling forward, head down. Inhale, gazing forward, flat back. Bend your knees, jumping back to low plank, lowering yourself all the way down. Inhale to upward facing dog, look up. Exhale to downward facing dog, tuck your chin into your chest. We're going to move on to the sidekick stretch. Bending your knee, lengthening the leg up. Your leg is completely locked and contracted. Your kneecap is rolling out to the side of your body. Nasal breathing here. Long, deep breaths, maintaining your pose, strong arms. Moving on to the next pose, the half pigeon pose. Inhale, raise the spine. Exhale, lower yourself down a bit. And moving into the full variation, you can walk your hands out completely and take some nasal breaths. Your right leg, the folded leg, the heel of that, that leg is going to glue into the left hip bone. Longer, deeper breaths. Slowing things down. Now we're going to step back to low plank. Take an upward dog and a downward dog in between. And moving on to the other side. So kicking the left leg up. Maintaining your nasal breath. You're going to lift up that left hip as high as you can. Contracting your leg. Fingers are open wide. Holding. Breathing. And then pigeon pose on the other side. So your left heel is gluing into your right hip. Lowering yourself down into a basic variation. Or you can point your toe. Lock your back leg and move on to the deeper pose. Releasing down. Let your hips relax here. And maintain your breath. Your breathing will be your most important asset as you move along. So lengthening to a three count on your inhale. And counting one, two, three on your exhale. Inhale, lifting your head. Hands back, right below your shoulders. Stepping back to low plank here. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale breath, downward facing dog. And moving on to the next pose. We're going to move on to the S stretch. It's very important to open up your hips with this posture. Your front leg needs to be a 90 degree angle. Hold down your knee, hold down your heel, and move on to the simple variation. If you feel tight in this pose, or a more advanced variation with a flat back, both shoulders are leveled here. Maintain your nasal breathing. Extending the spine when you inhale and exhale, maintain. And we're going to move off to the other side. So we're going to move off to the left leg. So establish that right angle with your front leg. Moving slowly into this pose. Inhale, lift the spine. Exhale, move down into a simple variation. Hold that knee, hold that heel. And moving on into the low variation. So once you've developed a bit of flexibility in your hips, you can move on to this part. Deep breathing, lengthen the spine. Do not round the spine in this position. Inhale, raise your body. Exhale, come back. You're going to cross your feet. Be sure to hold these toes and tuck the feet in really, really tight. And jump back to a low plank position. Moving to upward facing dog, look up. Moving to downward facing dog, look back, chin to chest. Moving on to the next pose, the hero pose. It's a great pose to open the knees. I'm going to first sit on the heels. A very simple variation. If your knees are tight, do not move on to the next variation. Stay with this. The next variation, we can make it very simple. We're going to roll out the calf muscles. Your heels are now on the outside of your hips. Hips are on the floor. Maintain a lifted spine. Take a few breaths here. Your chest will lift on your inhale breaths, on your exhale breaths. Maintain your pose. 
So lifting, inhale, exhale, maintain. To get out of this pose, you're gonna press the fingertips on the ground, lift out of it very slowly, and leap back right off your toes to low plank. Upward dog position, downward dog position. Now you're gonna bend your knees, inhale, jump forward to a cross-legged pose, and moving forward into the straight staff pose. This is a lifted pose to strengthen your back. You're gonna lock the legs, draw the toes back. It's like you're kicking your heels forward and contracting the thighs. And sit up as tall as you possibly can as you reach. Two fingers will now hold your big toes. And you're gonna move forward into the first variation of the seated forward bend. So with this variation, you're not going too far. You're just warming the body up a bit. Second variation, you can put your hands over the feet and force the flexion in the feet. Exhale, moving down, maintaining your gaze towards the big toes. So you're locking your eyes forward towards your big toes. With the inhale, sit up tall. We're going to move on to an advanced variation. Arms go up and exhale, the hands go over the feet. Your feet will always flex back and then exhaling, go forward, face into the shins or head to the kneecaps. Be very careful with this variation. Be sure that you can breathe in all your variations. Inhale, sit up straight. Moving on to its complement, the bridge pose. You're going to point the toes. Your fingertips are pointed to the outside of your body as your thumbs point forward to the front of the body. When you inhale here, lift the hips. When you exhale, just maintain the pose with strong legs. Exhale, release your body down. You're going to cross your legs. Hands go on the floor and jumping back. Exhale, lower the body down. Inhale to upward facing dog. Exhale to downward facing dog. Bending the knees, moving into the next pose, a very important pose, the head to knee pose. So we're going to do it first with the left leg extended and the right heel back into the left thigh. Inhale, extend your arms up and move to a simple variation. Just hold on to the shin or move on to this variation, taking your hands to the foot, maintaining a lifted spine. Your chin will go down onto your kneecap or the chin will go down onto your shin bone. Nasal breathing. Inhale, come up. Exhale. We're going to move on to the other side. Sitting tall first. So your hands will come up, look up. And with the exhale, go forward into a simple variation here. Or move on to the full variation. Hold the foot. Lift your spine. Exhale, move forward for five breaths. Nasal breathing. Lifting the spine on the inhale. Exhale, releasing forward. Do not pause your breath. Raising. With your exhale, cross your feet. Hands onto the floor. Walking or jumping back. Your upward dog, tighten your knees, look up. Your downward dog back, moving forward into the step up stretch, extending the left leg forward, right foot back, your right heel is tucked into your hip, and your toes on the right foot are pointing straight forward to the front of your body. Inhale, hand up, exhale, take your right hand to your left foot, head to knee. Maintain your breathing here. It's fine actually in this pose to round the spine a bit. Keep your right knee pulling into your rib cage. Nasal breathing. Inhale, lift the spine. Exhale, let's switch to the other side. So take your hand up on the left side and exhale down to the right nasal breathing here lift your spine slightly on the inhale release into your pose on the exhale inhale raise your spine 
and exhale crossing the legs maintaining the heat in your body so exhale inhale press up exhale press back and now let's bend the knees jump forward and move into the twist I'm going to fold in the left leg and step your heel even with your knee with the right leg and we're going to twist to the right side with an inhale simple variation here exhale twist so when you inhale sit up straight when you exhale twist you can move on to an advanced variation where you wrap your arm through you're going to inhale here sit up straight and exhale twisting you'll get a better sense of the grip as we move on to the other side so we're going to release switch it around so the right foot will tuck in other leg will step over inhale raise the spine up exhale twisting now you need to get your rib cage really really tight onto your thigh before you ever wrap inside so we'll try here so the inhale and exhale moving in to a deeper variation you're gonna wrap your right arm inside and you're gonna hold the left wrist when you inhale sit up tall and exhale rotate around turning your neck to the left deep breathing maintain your breath maintain your lift exhale face forward release your grip Cross those feet in tight, grabbing the toes, rock forward, and jumping back. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Bend your knees, and we're going to move into boat pose. Very important for the abdomen, very important for your core strength. So you're going to lift your spine, straighten your legs, and keep your chin lifted. Taking a few breaths here. You're going to cross the feet, lifting your body completely off the ground. I'm going to do this three times. Nasal breathing, maintaining your boat pose. Legs are straight, heels are together, big toes are touching. Inhale, lifting up, look up. Exhale, put your body back on the ground. And on to the last one. Control the waist, control your hips. So be strong in this pose, maintain your breathing. Lifting the spine on an inhale, exhale, round, contract the abs, inhale, lift. Crossing the feet, jumping back, control your center. To upward facing dog, look up. To downward facing dog, look down. We're going to move into the half lotus pose. Be very careful with this pose. Inhale and exhale, sitting straight. Folding first the left leg in and your right foot to the first variation on top of the calf muscle only or you can move into an advanced variation place the foot on top of the thigh so we can go forward with this pose too so inhale now you can sit up tall exhale you'll move forward into a forward variation breathing deeply here breathing easy with your inhale sit all the way up with your exhale release it and move on to the other side simple variation don't hurt your knee onto the calf muscle or we can move into the full variation taking your ankle on top of the lap on top of the waist and with an exhale breath you can move forward into the full pose nasal breathing you're filling the lungs with air as you inhale exhale maintaining your pose don't panic inhale we're gonna raise up and move into the back roll so cross the legs hold on to the feet make sure you have enough space don't do it in front of a wall inhale sit up exhale rolling back we're gonna do this ten times inhale come to the top exhale fall back inhale lift control your body here raising and rolling out that lower back building flexibility 
building your ability to take your legs over the head when necessary. Long deep breaths here. Exhale, press, go back. Inhale, raise up. Exhale, going back. Inhale, come up, hands on the ground and jump back using the momentum. Inhale to up dog. Exhale to downward facing dog. Now bend your knees and move forward into a rounded butterfly position. So this position is for those of you with tight hips, you want to round that back first. So you'll inhale, sit up straight for a few breaths. And then on an exhale breath, round the spine, put your forehead onto the big toes. And if you can't do that, just round as much as you can. Deep breathing here. So your spine is rounded on purpose. We're going to move into a flat variation. So inhale, flatten the spine. Exhale, put your chin on the floor above the big toes. Deep breathing. Lengthen the spine on the inhale and exhale. Inhale, sit up tall. Taking a few breaths, raise the spine. And then exhale, cross the feet. We'll move on to our next pose. Stepping back. Exhale down, inhale, lock the knees, look up. Exhale, chin to chest, downward dog. Bending your knees and seated, wide angle pose. Take your legs to a 90 degree stretch. Do not focus on a full split. With an inhale, lift, exhale, go on to a basic variation. Just hold on to your shins and keep your spine lifted. Exhale, you can go forward into the full variation. Hold the outside of your feet and put your chin on the ground, belly on the floor. It takes a while to move into this full pose, so be careful. We're gonna inhale, sit up, and exhale, move off to the right side. Stretching, nasal breathing. So the left hand is holding the right foot or you can hold two hands onto the foot, chin the shin bone. Deep breathing. Inhale, raise up. Exhale, move off to the other side. You're gonna twist the body towards the left leg. And with an exhale, go forward. Hold with a basic variation, right hand to left foot. Or full variation, two hands onto the leg. And exhale, go down. Breathing deeply. Slow, deep breaths. Don't race. Inhale, come up. Exhale, face forward again. Inhale, raise up all the way. And exhale, walk your body down very easily. You don't have to put your belly down on the floor. You can also lift the arms up and put your belly right on the floor for an advanced variation. The point here is to extend the spine and keep your legs strong. Keep the quadriceps contracted. My toes are pointing straight up in the air. Breathing deeply. Inhale, raise up. Exhale, release. Cross the feet, hands onto the floor, and hop back. Inhale, up dog. Exhale to downward facing dog. Inhale, moving forward. and lie back for a series of back bends here. So take your palms on the ground, your feet are hip width apart and knees are hip width apart, you're gonna bridge up, your shoulders will come together here and interlace your fingers behind your back. Deep breathing. Keep the hips pressing upward Inhale and exhale breath. A second variation to this back bend. So you can take the hands behind the shoulders here. Inhale, press up onto the head. Most of your weight here is going to be on the hands, not the head. And deep breathing. Full breaths. 
your feet are still hip width apart, your knees are right over your heels, and exhale, come down. Take a few breaths, rest before a full variation of the back bend. So again, I'm going to take the hands over the shoulders, and with an inhale, press up all the way, full back bend. Try to straighten the arms, press into the heels, nasal breathing, about five breaths in each of these back bends. Take another inhale, press, exhale, come down slowly. A counter pose to the back bends is the decompressor pose to lighten up the lower back and prep you for a forward bend. So make it easy now. You're going to rock forward and exhale breath, go back. Only the exhale. Inhale, you'll come up. Exhale, go back. And you can get more and more advanced as you move along. So exhaling, touch your toes on the back. Exhale, inhale, come up. Exhale, go back, pull the legs. Inhale, come up. Stick with the basic variation to keep your lower back protected. Exhale, folding back, and we'll do this one 10 times as well. Exhale, press back, straighten the legs, lock the legs. Inhale, move up. Exhale, press back. Inhale. We're going to move on to a seated forward bend now. Inhale, extend your spine up, sit straight. Exhale, fold forward. We'll do 10 breaths in this variation to close. Deep breathing here. In the seated pose, you want to contract your thighs, flex the toes back. Keep it easy and don't panic. Your nasal breathing goes all the way in. Nasal breathing, the exhale goes all the way out. So focusing completely on how you're breathing and maintaining your control. Inhale, sit up. Exhale, we're going to go into a resting pose. You need to close all of your practices with this resting pose to seal the practice. Your feet move about hip width apart. Your hands move away from your body about six to eight inches. Shoulders are completely relaxed. What you want to focus on here is completely relaxing, relaxing every muscle in the body and completely focusing on how you're breathing. Try to count to 10 on the inhale and count to 10 on the exhale without moving a muscle. Slow three count inhale. So count one, two, three on just the inhale. Count a one, two, three on the exhale. Keeping your mouth closed, your jaw relaxed, keeping your eyes steady and closed. You can maintain this pose for up to 20 minutes. Your complete focus here is on rest and recovery. Now crossing the feet, rock your body forward. Sitting tall in a cross-legged pose. You can maintain this meditative pose for 20 minutes as well variation here what you want to do just focusing on how you're breathing now to close exhale fold forward and with your inhale sit up tall and now you've completed the full practice